billions and 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 billions Mon Dieu, qu'avons-nous créé The XM1 is a 9.0 battle rating premium and the perfect example as to why War Thunder top tier ground forces is a complete shitfest. This fucking thing when it came out made top tier unplayable by giving literally every fuckhead with a credit card a $60 ticket to top end matchmaking. It is a vehicle that only serves the purpose of allowing freer boos to wank themselves off over superior American technology, and allowing them to shit on people who have actually worked their ass off to get to top tier. If you sold your soul to gay jiggles, and aren't a complete fucking idiot, you can use the $60 go-kart to bum rush and annoy the ever-loving fuck out of people who are actually good at the game. This is how you play the balance tabrams. You tell everything but APFSDS to go fuck itself, throw that shit in a maxed out crew like the pay 2 when fuck you are, and click the ruin battle button. Shitty players will tell you that the XM1 is a bad tank, but this is only because the tank isn't dumbass proof and they get shrekt every time they play it. This may be an Abrams, but it doesn't mean the armor is worth anything stronger than wet tissue paper. As a result, if you rush like an idiot headlong into the enemy you will die, quickly. The discount Abrams may be fast as fuck boy, but that doesn't mean rush the enemy head on, and expect to win. Instead, pick a flank with a cap circle and bum rush that shit, because you are practically guaranteed to get there first. Then either set an ambush for bum rushing feminist pinko commies, or get behind whatever flank they all decided to lemming train down, and show them the greatest freedom but fucking they can receive. Your number one rule is to never fight head on, ever. Your armor is practically non-existent and your ammo can't auto open everything at your tier. Oh what the fuck ever. Instead, focus on staying hidden, and surprising enemies using your superior speed and tactics, rather than actually fighting fair. This is all a fancy way of saying that you need to flank the ever-loving fuck out of the enemy, which is easy to do considering most of your enemies are slow as shit compared to you. If you find an isolated slug, flank the shit out of them, and come up behind them for the best kind of bird sex. If you get caught out, run using your stupidly fast reverse speed, since whoever the fuck designed this tank forgot to give it smoke grenades or ass vaping capabilities. As for crew skills focus on tank driving, weapon reloading, and leadership. When you get the opportunity, spend your life savings on an expert than an ace crew, if you are an extra rich American capitalist. And because you're a rich American capitalist you get all your modifications for free along with a free Abrams according to Gajan's PR team. Now you know how to play the XM1, get out there, and show other top tier players that their tanks and hard work are irrelevant. Well hello there you scrub lords, and welcome to a short update that I'm kind of tacking on at the end of the video here. Uh, I wanted to say thank you guys for watching, first of all I realize it's been a little while since I made any sort of video let alone review, uh, there will be another video detailing that in the upcoming week. Uh, but first of all I wanted to give a big shout out to a few people who made this video possible. First of all the people who sent replays. Mania Man 111, appreciate your help. Rusky Blusky, The Science of War, Stucks Sucks, and Matzern 23. 
I appreciate all of you guys for submitting your replays. They really help me out a lot as I don't exactly have a ton of time to be playing these days. It really speeds up the production for me. So thank you guys. Really appreciate all of your help. The next couple people I wanted to mention were the people who helped me out with the intro cinematic. Uh, so I want to give a big shout out to Yamato123 uh, from France who voiced that wonderful little line there right at the uh, intro. And I wanted to also give a big shout out to my good buddy Mike Goes Boom. Uh, if you guys don't know who Mike Goes Boom is, then you are very much new here and you must be living under a rock. There's a link to his channel. Go check it out. He's got some great stuff there even though he hasn't uploaded in a month like me. And one last final thing, I am going to be re restructuring my Patreon. I have since updated my Patreon with uh, several different levels, uh, from tiers 1 to 5, with all with different, uh, I guess you could say, rewards and benefits and so on. And as part of that new restructuring, Patreon's $3 and up will have their names placed at the end of the video as a special thanks for their support. So without further ado... I wanted to give a special thanks to Julian Singham, Driango, Oscar Jungenengo, and Elias Bjerg. Appreciate all of your support, and thank you guys for making this all possible. If you are interested in seeing what these new restructurings entail, please head over to my Patreon website at patreon.com slash many miles away. Link in the description below and up above. Without further ado, this has been Many Miles Away. Keep your tracks checked, keep your binos in place, keep around on the tube, and I will see all of you guys in the next video this coming week.